So the next couple videos are going to be about how to assign assignments and what they look like and um, how they look graded using the external tool. Um, so when you go to assignments, we typically do like a text entry or an upload or even um, media um, submission of their assignments. But we're going to talk about um, external tool now. Um, and there are several different ways that you, several different things that you can use as an external tool. What this means is um, the students are going to go to an outside site to complete their assignment. And there's not going to be um, a separate submission that they're going to do for the assignment. Um, they do it on a different site. And it has to be one that um, Guilford County or Canvas has linked to external tools. So I'll show you the examples of the ones that they have. Um, but this is just a quicker way to um, upload some assignments and um, for you to have record of them when they get back and you not having to go to a bunch of outside sites. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like when you're creating an assignment. Um, so I've done an example one here. This might be an assignment using the Google Cloud extension tool. Um, so however you want to do your assignments up here, you can still do points. However, that doesn't matter. Um, it's here where it says submission type. We usually hit online or maybe even no submission, um, but you're going to click this last one called external tool. And then you're going to hit this find. And that's where it's going to link list the different things that you can choose. Um, and I'll go through in the next videos and show you the ones that I've used um, and how you can use them. Um, some ones that you might want to check into that I haven't yet just because I haven't had the time or I'm not there yet. But um, I know a lot of people use Discovery Education. That's one of them. And I know a lot of people use OneNote Class Notebook. Um, and then there's one I think called Quizzes. Um, so I'm going to go through and Zern, um, and I will get to that at some point, but probably not before I put these out. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do a Nearpod, Flipgrid, Google, and one other that I will remember when I see the list. Um, but you'll just find the one that you're going to use, and you'll hit Select. Um, and so I was going to do an example. Um, Google one for you here so you could see what it looked like. And where did it go? There it is, Google Drive Cloud Assignment. Um, and so what's going to happen is you're going to get a list of your um, items in your Google Drive and you're just going to pick whatever one you want them to do. You don't have to worry about making a copy of it. You don't have to worry about um, publishing it, anything like that. Um, so the one that I was going to show you guys in a second was in lessons. I think it's called my life in apps. Yes. All right, so you'll select that once you come up with that. Um, so one last thing about general, in general with these, um, you have the choice of embedding this or loading it into a new tab. And I've played around with both and feel free to use both. Um, I've decided I'm going to train my kids to that it will load in a new tab because several of um, the sites it'll send them to, the text will just be too small and it will get frustrating for them to maneuver um, and to do things with a window inside of a window. Um, so I am going to tra train them that if they click on that to load a new window when they're done, all they do is close out and they'll be back on the assignments page. Um, so other than that and a due date, that's all you have to do in order to set um, an external tool. So the next videos, I'm going to show you exactly how um, I make one with the external tool. And then I'll also show you from a student's perspective what it's going to look like when they get an assignment with that external tool. Um, 
and then um, I'll do that for Nearpod, Flipgrid, Cam, um, Google Drive, and one other that I still can't remember what it is. 